In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the shipping options provided with Cafe Commerce and how you can set those up. For most online stores, properly charging your customers for shipping is a pretty big deal. You don't want to charge them too much, but you also don't want to charge them too little, forcing you to cover the extra cost. With Cafe Commerce, we have made calculating shipping rates and charging your customers for shipping as easy as possible. A lot of options are provided to you so that you can provide your customers with plenty of options and make sure that you are charging an accurate amount to send your customers their orders. Let me start by showing you how easy it is to set up Cafe Commerce to work with one of the supported shipping providers. First, from within your Cafe Commerce Manager, choose the Settings tab, and then under Tax and Shipping, choose Shipping. Now since I'm going to be shipping my customers their orders, I'm going to want to enable Shipping. And now you can see the supported shipping providers that are available to me. Cafe Commerce supports USPS, UPS, Federal Express, as well as Australia Post. The Australia Post option is displayed only to users whose store location is in Australia. So the first thing you need to do is decide how you're going to ship your customers' purchases. If one of the supported shipping providers is available in your area, you should choose the one that works best for you and sign up for an account online with that provider. Then, from this page here, select the provider you wish to use. Here's where you enter the credentials for your shipping provider account. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for one by clicking the link here. Once you've entered your credentials, you can click Save to return back to the shipping settings page. Now that the shipping provider has been configured, a new section has been added to my page that lists two rules. These are the default shipping rules that are added for you when you configure your shipping provider. One rule is for domestic purchases, and the other is to handle purchases made by international customers. So now that these rules exist, your Cafe Commerce store will be able to calculate the shipping charges for your customers based on the rules that are provided. In this case, if a customer is purchasing from within the United States, they will be charged the USPS priority shipping rate for shipping the products they are purchasing to their particular destination. If that customer is from any country other than the United States, they will be charged the USPS Airmail International rate for delivering their order to their location. Cafe Commerce gets these rates by sending the shipping provider the order details including the weight of the packages that were ordered and the location that the order is being shipped to. The shipping provider then sends back how much should be charged for that delivery and Cafe Commerce shows this to the customer as part of the checkout process. Now you're not stuck with just these two rules. In fact, you can have as many rules as you would like, or as few rules as you would like. For example, let's say you don't want to sell internationally for some reason. Simply delete the international shipping rule here, and your store will only allow purchases from customers located in your country. So let's say you wish to add more shipping options for your customers. For example, let's say you would like to support multiple shipping methods such as first class and express mail, and would like to let your customer choose the method that is best for them. All you need to do is add shipping rules for each method. So if you click Add Shipping Rule, you'll be able to set up your new rule. In the Shipping Rule interface, enter a name for the rule. In this case, I'm naming my rule by the shipping method I'm going to be selecting for this rule. Then select the destination for the rule, and then choose the shipping provider you intend to use for this rule. In this case, I'm going to be using USPS, since that is the only provider I've configured. Now I can choose the shipping method I'd like to use, which is Express, and since my credentials have been remembered for me, I can just click Add New Rule to add this rule to my settings. So I now have two rules that would apply to customers purchasing from within the United States. Let me show you what this looks like for your customers. Here on the Order Confirmation page, since there are two rules that apply to this customer's destination, they are given the opportunity to choose the shipping method they would like to use for this order. If only one shipping rule applied to this customer, the shipping charge would be automatically entered for them. Cafe Commerce will list all the rules that apply to a customer in this dropdown. If you have accounts with more than one shipping provider, you can even allow the customer to choose which provider they would like to use to receive their package. So I've shown you how to configure your shipping providers and set up shipping rules for your customers. But what if these supported shipping providers aren't available to you for some reason? or perhaps you want more control over the shipping charges. Well, Cafe Commerce has you covered again. In this case, you would create your own custom shipping rules instead of using the rules provided by a shipping provider. To start, choose the Add Shipping Rule button again. Just like before, you'll enter a name for the shipping rule you are creating. 
let's say this is the standard shipping rule for customers purchasing within the US. So in the name field, I will enter standard. And from the destination field, I'll choose the United States. Now, from the shipping provider dropdown, I'll choose custom. And this displays a table that I can start populating with my custom shipping rates for this rule. So the first rate I'm going to add is how much the shipping charges should be for customers purchasing products of a certain weight or lighter. First enter the max weight for this rate, which is going to be 10 pounds. And then I enter the, the, the weight for packages of that weight or less. With that added, I'll click Add Rate. And I'll want to continue adding weights and rates until I've completely populated the table. So that's how you set up custom shipping rate table. If you're using an unsupported shipping provider such as Royal Mail in the UK, check their website for a shipping rate table that you can use as a guide as you build this rate table. So that just about sums it up for shipping options with Cafe Commerce. We've made it so that you can do a whole lot if you need to, or very little if you don't. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information, check us out at cafecommerce.com.